to our uh, edge mode, you'll see that I can turn on turn off using visible edges, and I can see my tries, and I can go down in the stack, and I can see my tries and still use all of my edit poly tools, and I can watch as it retriangulates uh, for what I'm doing. So in this case, you know, if I want to come in here and uh, cut something, you know, on him, we'll just come in here and cut this, cut a shape here for his under his eye. And uh, you can see as it retriangulates what it's doing. So if you want to go in there and make any of those changes, you can. I can come in here to the, uh, the mesh version here. I need to go into, uh, into edge mode and just do uh, some dividing. And then come in here and do some turning. And you can see that uh, something like this is actually a little bit more effort. To, to go in and do all this, and I still got to go back and make this edge visible and make some of the other ones invisible if that's what I want. Um, with uh, with Edit Poly, you just come in and uh, grab edges and remove them to make them invisible and cut them. You add add them to make them there and remove them to make them uh, go away. So like in this particular case, let's go ahead and turn off this uh, turn to mesh for now. I'm I'm going to go in here and select some of these edges. And as you can see, when I have edges selected, I can remove them and uh, with the remove button right here, and they just go away. And the, the faces will retriangulate. If I have turn to mesh on, I can see what it's doing. Um, in this case, I'm going to go in here and put turn to mesh on, and we're going to grab these edges right here. Let's go get these. And I'm going to remove them. And you can see that oops, didn't get those. So remove these. And what I'm doing now is I'm removing them with a hotkey. Backspace actually removes your edges. So as you're modeling, backspace is a really fast shortcut to go around and pop off all these edges, backspace, 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 to, to, uh, to get rid of edges in an edible poly. Another hotkey that a lot of people aren't, don't realize is the, uh, the conversion. So for instance, if I come in here and, um, and I have a, uh, a conversion, let's go in here and I'm going to collapse this guy. And um, we'll get, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's see if I can get these. I'll make a teapot here and go into, yeah. If I grab this and I create a face, I can grow this, and then I can hold down Control and convert my vertex selection here. So I've converted from my face selection to vertexes. If I go back here and I grab these faces, I can hold down Control Shift, and it's inclusive. So only the verts that are um, that are a member of the selected faces on all sides are going to get this. So uh, so there's two different ones: Control and Control Shift make modeling a whole lot faster for um, for stuff like this. So um, let's go back to the to the model and take a look at some of the other stuff. Let's go in and get uh, our slice tools. I'll go into Edible Poly here, and um, and I'm going to come in and uh, choose to to slice it. And so let's just go into uh, Edge Mode here, and I'm going to do my quick slice. And my quick slice is just going to let me pop a slice plane in here. Now what I'm using this for is I'm just going to undo it. And uh, I'm going to go in and bring up my slice plane. And notice my slice plane appears exactly where my quick slice put it. So a lot of times when you want to be able to do something specific, like in this case, I want to nudge the slice plane around with my uh, arrow keys. And I want to get it right into the position that I want it to be. Slice plane, when you turn it on, always goes to the pivot point of the object. Then you've got to move, rotate, move, rotate, and get it to where you want it to be. So the quick slice puts it right where you want it. Then you can undo that and go get your slice plane and, and start working. And then you can keep popping it around like that really easily. So, uh, so that's another shortcut for that. Uh, another thing that's kind of uh, uh, interesting, too, is the ability to come in and uh, rotate with uh, with your snaps. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some verts in here. And uh, I'm going to turn on my lock shortcut. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate these around. And you can see that I'm rotating verts around a local pivot. Um, I can jump around uh, you know, my pivot point, move that to the center, rotate that around. But what you really want to do is be able to, uh, to use snaps to do that. And when, when I turn on my snaps, 
which would be turned on right up here. Now I can come in and I'll go to our snap settings here and I'm going to put this on vertex. And now I can pick any vertex here on the model and I can rotate around that. So with soft selection on, I can very quickly come in and uh, pose my characters, change their poses and rotate around any pivot. If we come in and look, you see now I'm rotating it around this pivot. And another thing too is that you can come in and lock your axis. So for instance, you see how it's, it's highlighting wherever I choose it? If I click here, it's going to actually lock it to that, to that axis right there. So now it's locked to that axis no matter where I go. If I come over here and click on the red axis, which is X, then you can see um, you can see I can come in and do that. So, so things like this, and I can come and adjust my model all over. This works with faces, and of course, with snaps on, you can uh, you can pivot around anything. So you can pivot around grid points or faces or edges or anything like that. So if you're laying down levels using Max as a level editor, it's really cool to uh, to come in and use snaps. And Snap Override actually helps a lot with uh, with that too. Snap Override comes up with a Shift key, so while you have something in your hand. I snap in your hand. I'll come in and grab something uh, again, and uh, let's just grab, let's just grab some edges here, and I actually have my lock, which is what's up with me, and um, I can come in now and I can grab them by a vert, and then I can go to my override and I can choose now that I want to choose edge. And then what's going to happen is when I put them down, I'm snapping them to an edge. So I've grabbed them by the vert and put them down by the edge. And so that means that, you know, you can pick up when you're rigging characters and you're trying to align, you know, bones to other, you know, the ends of other bones where it's not the pivot point, it's the vert. So you want to grab it by the pivot point and align it to the vert and do things like that. And you can snap things around really easily. Snap override is something a lot of people don't know about.